Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelsey Kennenbrew, also known as Kelsey K. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how God healed my body. I'm going to be completely transparent. I'm completely open. I'm not holding back anything um, because I really want to share this testimony. If there's someone out there who is sick or is dealing with a disease or whatever it may be, I want to encourage you in this video um, and just completely, like I said, be open and transparent. But if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my uploads. So bringing it right into the video. So starting of November of 2019, I was at a wedding and I was noticing like I had some really sharp pain on my right side, um, like near my stomach or my test intestines. The pain was extremely uncomfortable and when I was trying to like drink water, I didn't notice anything that was like trying to pass or anything so it was completely painful but anyways I had this extremely sharp pain it almost felt like a really bad like constipation um just it was just trapped like in my bowel the bowel was trapped so anyways I thought I was like okay I had a bowel this morning so why am I dealing with this uncomfortable feeling so pretty much after that um went back went home and drank some water and like I can't remember if like I felt fine or how it felt but I do remember it pretty much started up something so weeks after I was started dealing with complete like constipation it was like back and forth back and forth it was horrible um I didn't know what was going on because I'm like I'm drinking enough water because if you know me I carry a big old gallon of water every single day and I drink my water and I was just like, okay, what is going on? So pretty much what I went through, I went through a lot of just discomfort, a lot of weight loss, um, worrying about like, if I eat, is this gonna come out? Pretty much, you know, I just had all this, um, these different type of thoughts and worries about what was happening with my body. So um, November, December, in January, um, I, was con I was still dealing with this. Um, so like the holidays were passing, I was just worrying about like eating, I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I want to smash um, during the holidays and if I'm dealing with this, I can't really even eat much. And that's how my mind was, like I was worrying about eating. So that's why I was losing a lot of weight. So January comes, um, I was at work and I had this extreme pain in my like stomach, it hurt it so bad. All that day, I didn't have a bowel. I believe it was like that whole week. And this was finally like the end of the week. There was nothing. And I was just like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, so my stomach was really big. I was dealing with a lot of like bloating. And it was horrible. <laughs> it was bad. Um, so I was at work. And I tried to go to the restroom. And I started bleeding. And I was like, okay, this is not good. So, of course, my brain is going like this. I'm up here on Google looking up stuff. It was just, it was bad. So after that, I finally, um, after work, I finally went to the emergency room and I met my mom and my now fiance. I met him, I met them there. When I went, they did an x-ray, said there, that there was mild constipation. They gave me like Miralax and a stool softener. Just different stuff like that. Went home, I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna take this or whatever. It took it for a few weeks, but then again, I told myself, I was like, Lord, I don't want to take this stuff every day. I don't want to do this every day. I, I don't want to depend on different medications. I was doing everything. I was drinking prune juice every night. I was still trying to take the Miralax and the stool softener. And it was just horrible. And I was just like, I cannot do this every day. But again, like I still was dealing with um, a lot of worry. And then my faith. My faith was wavering everywhere. Like it was not stable i did not have complete like strong faith and i talk about faith a lot on this channel because that is our main source to like healing um deliverance um just knowing god and who he is faith is the main key so my faith was wavering and this was a season of my life where i didn't know that i'm like the lord is putting me or or pretty much trying to show me different things um, throughout this healing process. So a few months passed, and I believe this was like in March. 
um, when the whole COVID thing started and I wasn't able to actually go to the doctor. Um, this was when they were doing like phone calls. Um, so I called this gastroenterologist and she pretty much stated that I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And I, when I heard that, I was like, wait, I don't want to put a name on this sickness and I will not. So pretty much I was listening to what she said. She was trying to put me on this medication. I looked up the side effects and I was not, I was not going to take it. I was like, I'm not doing this. And I told her, I said, I'm going to see what my body does. Um, and I, I'm not going to depend on any medication. So I did not take it and I did not um, want to receive that. You know, I completely prayed and told the Lord, I was like, Lord, I want to be healed. I don't want to go through this anymore. And he knew, and this was like an off and on thing. Like there would be sometimes, you know, I would be fine. And then we'll like start back. Um, so I just didn't know what to do. So then there was one time the Lord placed it on my heart to contact um, my mother in Christ, which is really my best friend's mother-in-law. So I contacted her. Um, and she is a Holy Spirit-led, Holy Spirit-filled woman. Um, the Lord talks to her all the time. He shows her many, many things. I will say she's like a natural doctor, <laughs> but she, I mean, and she really is. Um, and I thank, I thank God for her. But I contacted her and I said, I'm dealing with this and I've been dealing with this for so long and I don't know what's going on. And I've been praying, I'm just like, I didn't know what to do, um, but she was like, you know, the Lord showed her that the devil has been after my, or pretty much trying to attack my body for a whole year. And when I heard that, I was like, wow, because it pretty much was almost a year of me going through this. And I was completely like, it, completely in shock and just like, wow, like, you know, I knew the enemy was to try to do something because he was dealing with my body and my mind pretty much everything the holy spirit placed it on her heart to give me natural supplements that would help me internally and when she did this i was so thankful of course she said that i will be healed in a month i did this and the lord completely healed my body i was of course so like grateful and thankful for what he has done for him just speaking through others to come to me and show me things it was a complete yeah. blessing isaiah 53 and 5 says but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed this scripture who <laughs> has actually, I don't know, well, y'all probably can't see, but it's on my little dry erase board, and I had this, and I, I read this every day. I said it. I decree and declared it over my life. Believing the Word of God is the source to, like I said, healing and power, and having the faith. Faith plus His power equals healing and restoration and deliverance. It's like in Mark 5, 34, when the woman with the issue of blood was going through the crowd there were multiple people who were sick there were many sick people around jesus at that time and when this lady came to him and she touched just the hem of his garment her faith was skyrocket she had such strong faith there were many people touching jesus at the time like there were many people touching him but he turned around and said who just touched me and she just touched his garment. There were people touching his shoulders, touching everything. But she touched his garment. And it was because of her faith. Her faith became united with his power. And it defeated the sickness. The, the sickness was gone. We as Christians have to believe and we have to put our faith and unite it with his power. When we want to be healed from a sickness, when we want to be delivered from a certain demonic attack that's upon our lives our faith has to be united with his power because if our faith is not there his power is always there because he went on the cross two thousand years ago already his power is there but where is our faith our faith has to be united with his power as well god also um, placed it on my heart to fast this was i believe in june I went on a three-day water fast, and I 
Never. I just, I felt the power of the Holy Spirit so strong in my life. I was fasting for healing as well. And Christ revealed so much to me at that time. Matthew 6, 16, 18 says, But when we fast, put, on, put oil on our head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done is in secret will reward you. Of course, I was dealing with this so-called sickness um, at the time. And trying to fast on top of that, it was a very uncomfortable situation. But I knew that I cannot go around and moping and moping and groaning like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm dealing with this and I'm trying to fast right now. I don't know what to do. I'm, oh, this is too much. I cannot show that. I had to completely, like, <laughs> put myself together and say, like, the Lord, the Lord is seeing me right now and he sees what I'm doing. I'm, he's strengthening my spirit. With fasting, it really um, showed me a lot and really helped me spiritually, mentally, and physically. I never knew that when fasting, I would receive such revelation. And um, he really showed me that I cannot depend on my flesh. My flesh is weak. My flesh is filthy. Killing that flesh killing whatever the enemy is trying to place upon my flesh it can be killed off by the power of um, fasting and by the power of the holy spirit so just to wrap this all up allow your faith to be united with his power then you will receive the full restoration and healing that you want in your life don't allow the enemy to destroy your mind, to destroy your body, and to put you in this deep um, hole of of worry and, and and just thinking that you know nothing can be changed, nothing can be fixed. But Christ put all that on the cross two thousand years ago for us. He did all of that for our sins, for our healing, for everything. He took all that on the cross. But I just want to wrap this video up and just say thank you guys for so much for watching this video. I hope you were touched by it. And I believe and I know that whatever you're going through right now, um, Christ is there with you. Christ is going to heal you. But thank you guys for watching. 